good morning good afternoon good evening no matter what time it is where you're watching hey friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is shay and today we're going to be reviewing the ghostface x glam light collection and i used it to create this so if you want to see what's going on in here stay tuned So it has been quite some time since I've been back to YouTube, but thankfully I'm coming back with a banger y'all because guess what's touched down? My glam light ex ghost face. Now let's get into this collaboration. This was a 15 pan palette. It's very cool tone, lots of blues, lots of greens. There's some purples in there, a lot of shifting colors. I like that. The only thing I would say was there needed to be a red, but don't worry that this one doesn't have a red because Glamline has already announced their next release and it will be having a red in it, which is the Freddy one, which I can't wait to get. Then there was the Jason one, already bought it. So the next thing I'm going to test out is going to be the lip kits. I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the deeper black one with like the nude color in the middle. Hopefully it looks good on me, but I'm not expecting much from that. I'm going to line my lips like normal. Yeah, it, it's a smooth application. And thankfully... I was able to get it out without it breaking like my Rick and Morty pencils. This gives me like that 90s lip that they used to do back in the day. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try it. It's a very, it's, it's damn near beige, okay? I look fucking insane. Th this, this is horrible. This, oh, cut the cameras. We're gonna try this again, but now we're gonna be using the red lip kit. Yeah. I don't hate this. I love the actual deepness of this red. I think it will flatter more people. Now I am a little nervous to try this. I have no idea what this is gonna look like as a pair. Cross your fingers, cause the last one was a disaster. I like the applicator. I don't hate it. I can work with it, but it's definitely not something that can stand alone. It, and again, cut the cameras. Now that we have tested out those lip kits, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my base and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the eyeshadow portion together. I'll see y'all in a minute. The base is done. Now it's time to actually get into the palette. And after we do that, we're gonna get into the blush and the highlight as well. So. At first glance of this palette, it's very cool tone. I'm not sure what colors I actually want to go with, but I'm going to try my hand at doing two different looks this time, and hopefully it'll go well. So give me just a second. Let me pick my colors first. 
All right, I'm going to start with the shade Pure Ghost Face, and we're just going to apply that. I'm kind of doing it backwards and normally how I do eyeshadow, so everything is a learning curve today. So. Putting it all through here, and so far there's no fallout. Big plus for me. Love that. Love that for them. Yeah, no rhyme or reason, just want to get that all up on here. Now I'm just going to blend this out. I took the pigment off the actual brush and I'm just going to go around the edges and make sure it's soft. Yeah. And, and it's blending okay. Like it's like it's not the best, but not the worst, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like that. All right, then I'm going to take the shade. I don't know. Let me look it up. I went in with just a touch of the shade called Shadows Back, just right here. And I'm not going to put too much because I don't want it to look like I'm giving myself like a black eye. And then I'm just going to blend it. Going back in with pure ghost face, make sure that color stands out on its own. Yeah, yeah, I can work with this. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Vint Vintage Mask, which is yeah, Vintage Mask, which is the pure black matte shade, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. There is a little, little bit of fallout, which is okay. That's a really black, black though. Now I'm just gonna blend the edges of the vintage mask color. Just so we don't have any harsh line. And finally with this eye, I think I want to take the shade Sharpest Knife and put that all over. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I used the shades Pure Ghost Face and I put that all above the crease. Then on top of that, I used Shadows Back just above that, just to give it a little depth of color. Then I went in on the lid and used Vintage Mask. And as a topper, I used the shade Sharpest Knife. I think it came out really cute. It's this very smoky, purple moment that I think we can get into, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna do a separate look on this eye. So now for this other eye, I was thinking to go like in a more blue tone moment. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Ghostly Gray and apply that freely to the lid or to the crease, I mean. Again, I'm not experiencing any fallout. The pigment is okay. I was very worried that this was a cool tone palette and I'm not a too cool tone girl, but so far it's, it's okay. So now that I have the pigment where I want it, I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and just blend that out. I'll be right back. I'm happy with where it's blended. Now I'm just gonna add a touch of the shade Movie Night.
Okay, now that the shade Movie Night is applied, I think I'm going to go with, let's go with Curfew Hour. Why not? I've never used a blue this shade. I've used a vibrant blue, a cobalt blue, a baby blue, but this is like a deep navy blue. Never tried it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes out. And I'm just going to tap this shade into the lid. It's it's really smooth, you guys. Like I'm not having any trouble getting these pigments to sit where they're supposed to be. I don't have to apply a bunch. It's like, yeah. Maybe I should get into the cool zones a little bit more. I I'm not hating it. This is pretty. I don't know if I would necessarily use this palette super, super often, but I can see myself picking it up when I'm doing a different type of look that needs a cooler tone. Yeah. yeah Giving a nice dinner moment. Yeah, give me, let me look at myself real quick. Hold on. Let me blend this out a little bit. And then we'll be right back to test blush and highlight. Actually, before I go, I need to put a topper on. So I'm going to go ahead with the shade Midnight Robe. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm just going to put that on. Ooh. Oh, this. This is. This is sexy. This I love. This is sexy. I love this. You can't tell me I don't look the fuck good. Lie to someone else, cause yeah, this yeah. Okay. Yeah, this 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 looks good. This looks good. This is a look. So I'm gonna put on my liner and my mascara, but I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do blush and we're gonna do the highlight. I'm going to tell you this, this eyeliner ain't worth a damn. The eyeliner is trash. I don't get it. Next. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to be using the blush from the collection. Does that have a name? Horror Powder Blush. Yeah, that's not a tongue twister. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to look with the look, but I'm going to try it. This is the way I like to place my blush. I'm honestly not upset with that. That's, that's fine. So I'm going to go back. Tap it on my hand to make sure it's just not ultra pigmented. And try it on this side. Also just gonna do it to here and here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna test highlight. So if you don't remember, this is what the highlight looks like. And so it looks to be, the top highlight looks to have like 
the specks of purple and blue iridescence in it. And then the bottom one seems to be like a more champagne colored one. So what I'm actually going to do is put the champagne colored one on the darker purple eye. And then the one with the purple flecks, I'm going to put on the, the bluey green eye. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my right eye. And then again, taking that top one with the purple and blue flakes and that is blinding. Let me tell you something, Glamlight don't never miss with their highlights. Now I'm going to do the lip and then I'm going to come back and give you my final thoughts. So this is the final look. On this side, we went with a more smoky blue green look. And on this side, we went with a smokier purple look. I went ahead and used the lip kit. I used the black from one lip kit. And then I used that like bloody red lip gloss. Um, I did go ahead and use the blush on both sides and both the actual highlighters. Um, in regards to this, this collab, I would say out of 10 is probably like a 7 for me. Um, that one lip kit was just trash. We, we're not even going to talk about that. Um, but it was okay. It's not like, it wasn't amazing, but it was really okay. Um, I can't wait to see what they got coming out next. I know the Friday the 13th um, collection will have launched by the time you guys have seen this. Hopefully the A Nightmare on Elm Street collection is going to launch because I can't wait to see how they get that blood red into like, an eyeshadow pigment that I'm super excited about but as for this one you see it gave what it was supposed to be given you do have to have you know I don't know I think if you were like a more cool tone person it would look better but I did what I could too again I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel and sticking out to the end of this video make sure you like share and subscribe also hit that bell so you'll be notified the next time I do post and I can't wait to see y'all next time bye friends Julie do the, uh, the thing.